Mo. <laughs> I'm Carly Shaken from Suburgatory, and I play Dahlia Royce. And what do you appreciate playing Dahlia Royce so far? What? What do you appreciate most about the role so far? Um, it's such a fun character to play. Uh, you know, I'm very outspoken and kind of have no filter, and it's just they give me the best lines in the entire world, and it's just such a fun character. And what do you appreciate about the relationship she has with her mom so far? Um, my re relationship with Cheryl, Dallas, um, you know, she's just kind of, I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> um, Are you guys bonding so far? Are you getting moments of inadvertent levity that you're kind of working together in this comedy situation? <laughs> um, I don't know. Is she giving you good clothing advice? <laughs> I mean, she just, she's kind of my biggest fan, and she's kind of, um, I'm kind of her, like, baby and, like, her everything. And so we're very just, like, kind of stick together, and she just, you know, we're, we always are somehow matching, or she's somehow trying to be me, or, and, like, I'm somehow trying to be her, so... Is that fun so far, incorporating that kind of role where you get to kind of mirror an older character and yet have them be your best friend, kind of? Yeah, I mean, we don't, a lot of the stuff actually isn't so much us together. It's just starting to be more of, you know, me and Cheryl and our stuff together. It's, so far, it's been more about, like, me and Jane. Um, but it is really fun to start having stuff between my mom and I. And how do you think she sees the new girl and coming into her territory and making moves on her, her family situation a little bit. I mean, the new girl has not just moved into her school, she's kind of moved into her life because her mom's adopted her and taken her under wing. Oh, how do I feel about that? I don't like it. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Tessa. I think she's just, you know, she's kind of like the black sheep in our world. Um, and I would just rather not have anything to do with her. And, you know, I have no desire for our families to come together or for me to be associated with her in any way, shape, or form, so it's kind of annoying for my mom <laughs> to do that to me, but. And how does she feel about George so far? I mean, he's also kind of come into their life in an unexpected manner. He's not just the guy that's doing the home renovations. He's kind of hanging out with them a little bit. I think I just, you know, I think to me George is just not even, he doesn't even phase me so much because it's just like, when I see him, he's with Tessa, and all I care about is hating Tessa so much that George kind of doesn't even exist in my mind. Um, you know, so I think it's just more about, like, my, you know, anger and, like, resentment and, like, this animosity that, like, me and Tessa have, and I just don't want her to be there. <laughs> is that fun to play? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like being a little bit of the mean girl? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never played that before. Um, you know, I've always played the more like... Uh... So... <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's fun to be able to just play that girl that just, like... You know, I read the scripts and I, like, read my lines and I just, like, laugh out loud every time because she's just so ridiculous. What about those crazy outfits? Are you, like, feeling okay in those so far? <laughs> I brought this one from home. <laughs> um, nice wardrobe. <laughs> uh, um, it's funny because, you know, I'm the kind of person, I wear, like, big, baggy, like, soft, like, old clothes. Um, you know, so I come to work every day in, like, sweats and, like, a big shirt and a hoodie and, you know, whatever. And then I, an hour later, I'm, like, transformed into this. <laughs> so it's really entertaining to see, but... Are you ready to be the fashion plate of the new fall season? Oh, what? I'm the new fashion plate of the fall season. <laughs> I hope people start dressing like this. <laughs> they really entertain. I really want someone to be me for Halloween. I think that would just be the coolest thing if someone was Dolly for Halloween. And what do you think people are going to identify most with your character on the show? You can't be just the mean girl all the time. <laughs> no, you know, I think a lot of people are going to watch this and be like, I know someone like that. Like, there is that girl at my school. You know, um, because I definitely had this girl at my school when I was growing up and I think people you know are going to relate to that and kind of relate to knowing that person and I also think people you know everyone has a little dolly on them I think um 
I think a lot of the times she's the kind of person that says things that you're not supposed to say. Um, and I, I think what's really cool about her though is like she's mean and everything, but she just kind of like, she doesn't really care that much about what other people think. You know, she kind of is set in her ways and, and um, confident with like what she believes in things. And I kind of respect that. Where do you think she sees herself going once like the high school experience is over? What is her big dream, do you think? I don't know. It's a really good question. She's open to the possibilities. <laughs> yeah. I think that like, I don't even think she thinks that far to be completely honest. <laughs> I think my biggest future thought is what I'm wearing the next day. Um, so I don't know yet. And why do you think viewers are going to really love your show? It's coming out of the gate really strong, it's got positive buzz. You know, I always say this is the kind of show that even if I wasn't in, I would watch. Um, I think it's so entertaining. I know every time like we get to watch an episode, like we're all laughing hysterically and we were there filming it, and so I think that's a really good sign. Um, <laughs> You know, I just think it's the kind of show where, like, after every episode, you're kind of, like, just, like, dying to see what happens next. And, like, you want to see more and you want to, like, find out what goes on with the characters and what happens. And, you know, it's the kind of show where you laugh out loud when you're watching it. And I think that's really important for a comedy. Um, I think it's incredibly well written. I think we have, like, the most amazing cast ever. Um... You know, and I think it's just like a feel-good show, and it's smart.